All right. Today I want to discuss dairying. Dairy goats, these beautiful little creatures. These are our dairy or ladies. This over here, if you can see her, is Ruthie. And this is Marie and Brinley and Patricia. And then this is our new guy, Rocco. He's our new buckling. He's going to be the new breeding stock for our dairy herd. These guys, uh, Marie here, Marie is La Mancha, hence no ears. She's a cross of La Mancha and Mini Nubian. And these guys are Mini Nubian. You can see the longer ears. Um, he is Sable, which is a Sonnen, but colored. Um, so why am I pointing out my goats to you today? Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about dairying. I get the same thing almost every time I say I milk three goats a day. And what that is is are you serious? And then I say, yeah, I know, it's crazy. But is it really that crazy? Hmm. Um, I'd like to propose that it's not that crazy. It takes me approximately 15, maybe 20 minutes tops to milk these three ladies, Patricia, Brinley, and Marie, currently. And I don't need to be, but they're in milk, and they're producing the littler ones here. Patricia and Brinley, they don't produce as much milk so, milk. so out of the three, I'm milking them once a day, and I get approximately three quarters to one gallon a day. And now you say, man, that's a lot of milk. It is a lot of milk. Of course, I have four kids. But when you, uh, when you have a little farm, too, and you've got chickens um, and pigs and other things, you can take that extra milk. If, if some spoils, you can put it in grain and feed it back to your, to your chickens. Or you can... Um, you can take that that spent milk and you can use it in composters, actually as a foliar fertilizer or as a seed treatment. Um, you can make cheese out of it. Um, you can make kefir yogurt out of it. You can make regular yogurt out of it. So there's so many things. So actually, you'd be surprised where that milk goes and also how much you drink. I probably drink a, at least a quart a day. Um, and, it, and I like to do, as you, many of you know, we like to do CrossFit and things like that. And probably the best fitness supplement you can imagine. It's much better than protein shakes. You get a lot more out of it. But anyway, why dairy goats? Why isn't it crazy? Well, you know, I got this new thing on my phone recently um, from, you know, Apple that talks about uh, the time you spent and how you spent your time. And what I find interesting is you see how all that time adds up over the week. And you look, and I, I'm not a huge social media person, or at least I don't think I am. But when you see it summed up over the period of a week, it doesn't take much time at all to add up two, three, four, five hours spent on social media over the period of two weeks. I think it's a two-week thing. But at any rate, how many of us spend 15 minutes a day on social media? Now, be honest, because it, it adds up quickly, right? And um, before you know it, you may think you're just going to be on there for just a second. You're just going to, oh, I'm just going to, oh, I got a notification. I'm just going to check and see what somebody said and before you know it you've spent 15 20 30 40 minutes on it and I might submit to you an alternative and that alternative is this these beautiful wonderful creatures that love to be alive and eat hay oh you can see the kittens in the background too um, it's one of the most calming things I do all day I know Amber she, she helps me out she, by and large I do the, the most of the milking but there's been times when she's done more of the milking um, when we were milking twice a day and um, she, she said the same thing that it's one of the most calming and grounding things you can do in a day to spend time um, with with these animals and it really helps to complete that circle and connection to remind you um, that we're dependent on other other creatures and um, so yeah that's mainly it I, I don't think it's as crazy as most people think yes the biggest problem is it ties you down. Yeah, it's hard to leave. And it is, I won't lie. I mean, you have to milk them every day. It's, it's something you have to do, but there are many things we have to do every day. But here's the beautiful part of it, people. The more of us that join this wonderful, crazy uh, change, the easier it is to leave. Uh, that's part of living in community, right? And being connected to one another and helping each other out. The more of you,